Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley, I'm the Itty Bitty Beauty, and today we are back with another Ipsy video. We're gonna open July's Ipsy bag, and then we're going to do a full review on the things that I got in my June Ipsy bag. So I wanna go ahead and start with July's Ipsy. Now, if you see me looking over here, it's because I have prepared notes. We're trying to be better. My concealer, I guess, is a little much on this side. Y'all wanna hear about my karma for the day, by the way, before we get started? Look. This is what happens when I don't film on the days I say I'm going to. So this is what we have. So if you see this, don't at me. It literally just happened like an hour ago. So it's lovely, isn't it? It's great. So we're gonna get started with July's Ipsy because we've got a lot to go over. Um, this is the bag, super cute. I was actually really excited about this bag just because of all the little details here. Um, I absolutely think this is adorable and I'll probably use this one and carry it with me throughout the summer just because how fun is that? When I opened my Ipsy bag, I received three of these masks. These are the Midflower Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizing Masks. It's a set of three and they retail for $15 for the set, I'm pretty sure. This hyaluronic acid is not just a hydrator, but it's also an anti-ager too. It infuses skin with moisture to temporarily plump fine lines and smooth wrinkles. A 30 minute date with this mask will leave your skin feeling soft and replenished and looking ultra dewy. The mask is made with lightweight elastic fibers that fit all face shapes. I did try this one and um, I did notice that as well. I have a hard time with sheet masks because they don't always fit my face. Um, these definitely did, so I really enjoyed that. Combines pure flower water with wild, silky, soft sheet mask. This one was really great. I cannot wait to use these other two. And again, we will go ahead and re-review these at the end of the month. The next product I'm going to discuss is this eyeshadow that I received in my Ipsy for July. Um, I'm not sure 100% how to say it, but I think it's Il Mac Maquillage. This is the shade, we'll swatch it in just a moment, but I really wanna talk about some of the key points of this product. It's the Colorboss Multi-Dimensional Eye Color in News Flash. And this shade retails for $29. Hold on. The packaging is so cool, but it's a little hard to open. If you open it from the side, that's the key. This is a hybrid shadow um, that glides on like a cream, blends like a liquid, and finishes like a powder. The buttery smooth pigments last for hours without creasing or fading and can be applied wet or dry depending on the level of color payoff that you want. It's sleek chrome packaging, just so you guys can see it. Uh, feels luxe and looks display worthy. I will say, one thing I do love about this is the packaging. The only downside about having packaging like this is it's very easy to get dirty, very beautiful. So, um, I also, I've heard of this brand. I see a lot of their ads on like Facebook and things like that. And they say that their foundation is like the number one color match you'll ever get. Um, and that they get it on point from just an online quiz. So you can also try the foundation for like 14 days, I think. And if you decide that you don't like it, then you can always return it. I'm really interested in trying it just because again, the ads make it look so good. But isn't that the point? I'm a sucker, what can I say? Okay, so let's go ahead and swatch this shade so that you can see what the shade looks like. I have to say it is very pretty. The packaging really trips me up. So this is what the shade looks like, and this is the shade News Flash. So you can see it is very shimmery, and it does, the swatch at least, did blend very nicely. Um, I have used the shade once since I've gotten it. Um, I tried to do kind of a smoky eye look with it, and I didn't like the one that I paired it with, which we'll get to in a second, but I did like this shade a lot. It did blend very nicely. So can't wait to use it this month and give you my full review at the end of the month. Next product is going to be this Ofra highlight in the shade Glazed Donuts. This is the one that uh, they partnered with Nikki Tutorials on. I've been really excited about this highlight. It was beautiful and I love that it was through Nikki Tutorials because I really like her. Let's go ahead and open it up and let's talk about it. So this highlighter retails for $30, which seems like a lot. However, these Ofra highlights are amazing. I have another one here that I'm gonna show you. This one I absolutely loved. I am wearing it today, and you can see it right here. Um, they are blinding, they are beautiful, and they are worth every penny. It is a frosty white pearl pigments to make it look like it is a lit from within look. If you watch Nikki at all, she loves stuff like that. A little goes a very long way. There's a lot of color payoff with this, so you don't wanna overuse it for sure. 
It's a powder highlighter formula. The buttery texture blends just as well as a liquid or a cream. I was very excited to receive this product. Thanks, Ipsy. I also received an eyeliner this month in Ipsy. That seems to be a very common thing for me. I don't mind it at all. I absolutely love eyeliners. It's my favorite makeup product besides maybe eyeshadow. Um, that is just a can't live without it type of deal. This is by a brand called Real Her, and this is the I Am Amazing liner. Now it is just kind of like, it's not a felt tip or anything. It is just like a standard coal liner. Um, so, or cream liner, I guess. So this retails for $16. It is in black. It is a no budge, no smudge. The eyeliner is here for the long haul. I have not been able to try that or test that out. I did put it in my uh, waterline today. So we'll see how it goes. And it claims to stay in place for 24 hours. So we will see about that because my waterline is difficult to keep eyeliner on. The cream formula glides onto your lids like butter while drawing precise lines and fierce flicks with ease. Notice the tip is out, just flip the pencil, remove the built-in sharpener and get your liner on point. So I use this product today and yesterday and I will tell you it is very creamy. Um, I really like how it applies. It really can get in those hard to um, define places. So 10 out of 10 so far on this, but we'll see at the end of the month. Now this product right here is a brush from one of my favorite brush brands that I actually discovered through Ipsy. It's a brand called Complex Culture. I have quite a few of their brushes that I got again through Ipsy. So I have this one, which we'll get to in a minute. It's a contour and blush brush. This is a bronze and setting brush and this is their concealer brush. Now this brush does retail for $35, which seems like a lot. Now, I will tell you, if you don't follow um, a YouTuber by the name of Madison Miller, she is one of my favorite YouTubers ever. She's just, she has a very like wholesome channel and she's just, I don't know, she's just great. I love her upload schedule. I love what she does, it's amazing. She swears by this brush. So when Ipsy gave me the option to choose this brush, I had to jump on it. The curvature of this brush right here um, is supposed to fit right into the hollows of your cheeks so it makes a perfect contour. I have used this a couple of times and I have to say I absolutely adore it. It is an amazing brush but so are all the complex culture brushes that I've tried. I truly truly enjoy them. They talk about how it's a uniquely shaped brush head which I would agree because a lot of times when you see You'll see brushes like this where they're kind of like angled. You'll see some that are tapered and things like that. But I truly have never seen a brush that looks like that. So it says to use the shorter side for contour and it is luxuriously dense, holds onto pigments, blends them out seamlessly. That's very true. It does have these really cool handles. These velvety matte handles are really, really neat. And it does give you a lot of control over the application and they are vegan and cruelty free. I definitely recommend if you can spend the extra coin to go ahead and grab some of these brushes. I personally have a set on my makeup wish list. Okay, so when you choose your Ipsy bag, you do get the option to add-ons. So add-ons are additional products that you can put into your box for a fraction of the price of what they would cost retailed. That being said, I did get a sample of the Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. I love anything hydrating and this was just too cute. I know nobody does this anymore, but again, whatever. We're, we're living our best life here. But I just want you to be able to really see the packaging. So if you do pick it up, you know what it looks like. It's got these really cute little like black dots in here that make it look like watermelon. I'm not 100% sure what they are, to be honest. Let's take a look and see. So this primer is supposed to be refreshing, hydrating, and perfect under your makeup. Multitasking primer checks all the right boxes. Get hydrated without feeling greasy. I can tell you that I noticed that as well. It, it didn't make my skin feel greasy and gross. I used it prior to doing my makeup today. It does have hyaluronic acid in it and it says that it's a moisture magnet. So it really locks in that moisture in your skin, which a girl needs, let me tell you. The watermelon extract in this is packed with vitamin C. Um, it brightens your skin and helps protect with antioxidants. The unique serum-like texture grips onto foundation for long-lasting wear and a flawless non-kiki finish. I do really like this primer thus far. This is the only second time that I've used it and because of quarantine, it's really hard to test the long wear because we're not really going anywhere and um, this Texas heat is real, y'all. So um, if I get the chance to do a long wear test in the heat, I will certainly let you know when we do our uh, full review. 
The other add-on product that I got was this palette. It's called the Pick Perfect Palette. Picture Perfect Palette? I don't know. From the bomb. One thing I have to say right off the bat is these little like 10 packages. I can't with them. This is what the palette looks like. I did get this as an add-on. Um, so it was not included in my regular Ipsy box. Um, the only issue that I have really with this palette is that this top row is mostly just shimmer shades. So it does make it a little more difficult to work with as a one palette and like you're ready to go like it claims to be. Um, it also has a dark shade here, a kind of a lighter coppery type shade in here. And this is actually an eye primer. So I did play with this palette last night a little bit just to kind of see what I thought. And the primer held up really well. I was very impressed with it. I didn't have any creasing or anything like that. So that's definitely the goal when you're putting on your eyeshadow. There's almost nothing worse than it creasing other than maybe going up patchy or something. I was definitely impressed with the primer. And then these shimmer shades are absolutely beautiful. Just not necessarily something that you could pick up this palette and that be the only palette that you grab. Okay, so now we're gonna get into my personal favorite part of this video, and that is my monthly review of the June Ipsy products that I received. For the most part, I've used these products all month long. I can have a really good opinion about what I thought about them, not just from a week, but an entire month of use. The first thing I wanna start off with is my favorite product that I received in my Ipsy last month, and that is Pure Release Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm. This stuff is amazing. You have got to go check it out. I will certainly leave a link in the description box. This is awesome. I absolutely love this stuff. It, as someone who has dry skin, it definitely held in the moisture for the day. I literally use this every single day. Even if I don't put on makeup, I'm still using this moisturizer. It is a gel consistency. Definitely can't say enough about this. It literally feels like a glass of water for my face. And I know I say that every time I use this product, but it's true every time I use this product. The next product I wanna go over is uh, the Ciate Marbled Metals um, Eyeshadow in the shade Entwine. Now, this one is absolutely stunning and gorgeous. We did go ahead and swatch it in my last video, so if you wanna see that, go ahead and go over there. Um, I love using this for just easy makeup looks. I noticed that if I put kind of a darker like gray or black or something like that on the outer corners and just kind of blend in a nice little transition shade, I just pop this all over the lid and I'm good to go. Next, we're gonna talk about the Arcelli, Arcelli um, Ojos Perfectos Eyeliner. And this is the black shade. Now, one thing I wanna point out here, and I am gonna use my hand again, but um, this tip here is very, very long. And I thought that I would really like that because you would think it would give you like that perfect wing, you know? Um, but I did notice that it was a little hard to control and a little difficult to use. Um, it does pull slightly um, as I've been kind of using it every day. Um, it does have great pigment. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't budge, and it really doesn't go anywhere throughout the day. It is long wear, but I found that the tip of this was a little difficult for me to use. Next up, we have the Dr. Brandt uh, Pores No More Luminizer Primer. This stuff is really cool, actually. I've never really been into luminizing primers and things like that, but this definitely gave my skin a really nice and healthy glow. Um, I guarantee if I used that instead of the Ciate one, I would have just a nice little like healthy glow on my skin instead of a matte look. I do recommend this. Um, it, it did hold on to my makeup all day. I didn't notice an excessive amount of creasing or anything, which I get a lot right here in my forehead and under my eyes. Um, so I definitely thought that this was a fun product and I can't wait to continue using it. Now for the products that I actually received in my Ipsy box, um, this is gonna be the last one that we're gonna go over here. These are the set of Farah brushes. Uh, I'm not sure if you pronounce it that way, but it's F-A-R-A-H. Uh, these are fantastic. I absolutely adore these brushes. I use them every single day. They blend makeup beautifully. You can see the blue and the green and the yellow. Like I have used it on my eyes today. Yeah, I was absolutely satisfied with getting these in my Ipsy. And it's really cool to get things like this in Ipsy because I would have never, ever even tried this brand without Ipsy because I would have never heard of them. I don't know if I like the price point for these brushes. I wanna say they were over $40 for five brushes. So that is kind of pricey and I do have brushes in my collection that work just as well. Um, but these actual brushes themselves, they did a stellar job and they work fantastically. 
Okay, so I did get some add-ons on my June Ipsy box, but I got them after I got my Ipsy box. So I didn't have them for you at the beginning of June when we did the last video. So these are the Shavia B Miami brushes. I have one of her palettes that I believe was in my last video. I don't use that palette super often, but I was impressed with the quality of the shadows. So I thought I would go ahead and give her brushes a try. I've used these a lot this month. So um, I definitely love that. Some of my favorites here is this concealer brush. I think it's wonderful for what it does. Um, I like that it is super, super flat. This other one I have from Complex Culture that I love, I don't really use it as a concealer brush. I just kind of use it to get in like more detailed areas because it's so fluffy. But this one definitely um, blends my concealer out very nicely. I also really enjoyed this little one right here because I really like going under my eye. Um, and really getting that color on that lower lash line. And I, I highly recommend this. Like these brushes are so great. I love the way that they look. They're just, they're beautiful. 10 out of 10, absolutely would recommend. I also got another Ofra highlight. This is in the shade Rodeo Drive. This is my favorite Ofra highlight ever. I absolutely love this one. I got it in my Ipsy bag a long time ago and I have coveted it ever since. Also as an add-on, I got this Violet Boss Fruit Sorbet Palette. I actually have it on my eyes right now. And this palette is so stinking beautiful. Look at how pretty those shades are. I've never tried a Violet Boss Palette and I don't know what I've been doing with my life. These shades blend so beautifully and effortlessly. Like it took nothing to blend these together. So I definitely have to check out more Violet Boss Palettes for sure. Last but certainly not least, I have a bronzing palette from the brand called Lovecraft Beauty. I've never heard of this brand before, but I really wanted a bronzing palette, so I thought I'd check it out. The only thing that I will say is that I am pretty much able to use this shade and a little bit of this shade. Yeah, this shade and a little bit of this shade. Otherwise, it gets too bronze for me. I actually used this one today to bronze up my face. Um, this one is way too dark for my skin tone, but. They are beautiful. I absolutely love these bronzing shades and I would definitely recommend. They blend so beautifully and I just think they give a nice, pretty sun-kissed glow. All right, you guys, that's it. That is all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoy filming these. If you are interested in more videos on my channel, please feel free to come and hang out and uh, check out my last video because my God baby was in it and we had so much fun. Um, and hopefully we'll be filming again really soon. So make sure that you subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed. Please turn on your post notifications and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.